hello guys today we are going to talk about time to first byte so i am having a website it's a personal website what i will do is uh, run it through gt matrix analyze what you should do is create account with gt matrix Other, otherwise they will put you in the queue so i am already logged in and i don't have any waiting time for that Okay, I will log into my website too. Okay, we are having the results. So full load time is 3.7 second. Page load time 8.22. And now uh, page speed. We are going to at the waterfall tab. So you can see we are having a waiting time of around 823 milliseconds now this website run on wordpress now this type of uh, load time can be reduced by using a caching plugin so let's uh, go to the backend i am using a plugin called word wp fastest cache so let me see if it's enabled i don't think it's enabled because otherwise uh, uh, this waiting time would not have been there so we are going to enable it <coughs> there are many options these few options are grayed out I think it's for premium users enable and uh, other users are other options minify html minify cs combine js uh, gzip browser caching I'm not going to select any of them because I have add uh, htaccess code and another plugin which take care of minify ss and combine css and the plugin name is auto optimize so what you are going to do is just enable it and uh, let's go with the default option that are, are already selected let's click on the submit i don't think even uh, auto optimize is enabled as you can see size 0 okay let's come to that later now i will again rerun this test yes, uh, we notice that it's around 823 millisecond of waiting time I just open my website in a private browser window just to see if everything is loading correctly. Images, everything is loading correctly. So, this it's not an issue after enabling the cache. Let's take a look at our results. You can see the load time has increased. Uh, I'm not sure how this happened. Let's go to waterfall. So, yeah, the load time. The waiting period has been reduced from 820 millisecond, 820 or something to 82 millisecond. Okay, so this is uh, what you can do to reduce the time to first byte cache. You can see there might be <coughs> slowness in other parts, but that byte, uh, the time to first byte has been reduced considerably, around 10 times, just by enabling this plugin fastest cache there are other plugin like wp cache uh, i normally used to use that but for few clients i have seen that this plugin works best you just have to enable it <coughs> and there's nothing else need to be done you can try with the <coughs> excuse me minify html and minify css or even combine css but this uh, uh, doing this need a little more experience because most of time these break the website there are many resources loaded by wordpress so uh, proceed with caution 
okay i again ran the test in gt matrix now it's around 3.8 <coughs> so let's again check to waterfall so the waterfall the waiting is around 78 millisecond now so from 820 millisecond to 78 millisecond that's quite improvement so if you are looking to improve your time to first byte the the <coughs> You can do it in five and in under five minutes by using a plugin, a, a caching plugin. I think the best plugin is WordPress Fastest Cache. So you try that and let me know if it works for you or not. Have a nice day. Thank you.